whenever I go somewhere new, I like to see a part of the, the area. I like to see a part of the wildlife. And today I'm jumping into the mach -E and heading out to Joshua Tree National Park to see the Joshua Trees, have a look around, do a couple of hikes before heading back later on today to LA. <laughs> Mandatory recharge stop before I head to Joshua Tree because I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a fair bit of driving to do today. Figured I'd better stop, get some essentials. We've got our Cheetos for the road trip, and we've also got water, coke, and some beef jerky. Leave the car on its own again. Uh, need coffee, need coffee. Already it is what, like not even 10 o'clock in the morning. It is so hot. I'm loving this weather. This is what California weather to me is. It's lovely and warm not too warm but we'll see what happens when we get to joshua tree and what the desert weather's like but uh starbucks should be about a quarter mile down the road and yes waterfall is walking water baby one from Walmart because you know didn't want to carry too much water stay hydrated gonna do a couple of hours worth of hikes do some sightseeing and hopefully see the infamous Joshua tree <laughs> This, I believe, is split rock because there's kind of two rocks that looks like it's split. Trying not to fall because there's a bit of a drop in front of me. But this is an absolutely beautiful national park. Just seen a little gecko, maybe a lizard, don't know. But absolute heaven out here. <music> There are literally so many different hikes around Joshua Tree. It is, there's something for everybody. There are sort of nice and easy hikes. There's some more difficult ones. Need to watch when walking because I have a habit of falling over. Not particularly a great idea out here. And as the sign said when I first got here, do not die today. And uh, I definitely don't want to. Oh, another lizardy deck gecko we think. This is just, what a last day before I head back to LA. Next stop on my whirlwind tour of Joshua Tree National Park, he says, as he's uh, wiping Cheeto dust off his microphone is Skull Rock. This one is literally right at the side of the road and it, it's there.
So I'm on my way to my next stop, which will be some sort of arch. I can't remember the name of it. I'll tell you when I get there. But we found more, well, I found more. Well, actually in the National Park are named after the, the plant, the Joshua tree. And the Joshua tree is from the Yucca family uh, and is only found here in the Mojave Desert. Now, this is a huge national park. I believe, from what I've been told, you only find the Joshua trees to the north side of the park. So at the south side, you're unlikely to find these. But one of the great things about this park is it is a big park. It's a driving park. It can't be seen all by walking. You're driving from exhibit to exhibit. And other than the cars going past and people stopping to look at the exhibits and attractions, the thing that I like the most is that I'm in the desert and there's literally no one else around. This is absolutely awesome. And I say there's nobody else around. There is, there's people stopping to actually see sights. But I just love the fact that I'm here, I'm out on my own, and I can pretty much just know that other than the reptiles, the animals in the park, it's just me. En route to my next stop, Arch Rock. I don't know why I couldn't think of the second word a second ago. Arch Rock is where I'm heading now. It's short walk, short hike. It's not bad, but I actually love all this hiking aspect. One little gripe though, and Waterfall knew what he was getting into when he came here. There's grit getting into my shoes, and that really annoys me. But other than that, this place is absolutely beautiful. It is a huge area that this park covers. Joshua Tree National Park covers just over 795,000 square acres. So this bad boy is a big park, of which I will only see a very, very small amount because I've not got too long here. Another hour or so, and then I need to head back towards LA. literally hear the wings flapping on these birds they are so huge so currently on the trail to the arch rock and uh, I've got to think about arch rocks uh, in my lounge I actually have the delicate arch which I think is in Utah if I'm not mistaken beautiful photograph which I've had for years so now I'm actually gonna go and see large arch here in Joshua Tree After a little bit of a hike, crawling and climbing up a few boulders, finally made it to what is possibly going to be the last stop of today. We've got a large arch, not as big or unique as some, but I've seen it with my own eyes. It looks gorgeous. And I feel like a kid again climbing over all these rocks, seriously. <music> I'm heading back to the car. My time here in the Mojave Desert inside Joshua Tree National Park has come to an end. And I'm certainly no authority on this place, but one thing I do know is, is it's huge, it's beautiful. And if you're out here in Southern California and have the chance, definitely, definitely check this place out. 30 bucks to get in for a car is literally nothing. And you can spend a couple of days exploring here. It really is a truly awe-inspiring place. So if you are a subscriber, thank you very much. If you're new to the channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button down below here. It's free, it will not cost you anything. It really does help this channel to grow. And travel videos, they're few and far between, but I do try and put them up every once in a while when I go somewhere that warrants it. 
Equally, if you do support me through Patreon, thank you so very much. That means an awful lot. It allows me to do just a little bit more with this channel. For example, come to places like this. I mean, this place is absolutely beautiful. But I'll catch you in the next one. If you want to watch another video, click just over here, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Waterfall out. Mm -hmm.